What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, that you've all had an amazing summer, the heat wave has finally left Sweden, god it was unbearable, but I mean that's been the entire world, or like Europe, I think the US had a heat wave as well, uh, it's lovely, you know, where even on the good day, you know, it's like only 22 degrees celsius outside, and it's cloudy, there's not even sun, but it's so humid, you, you shower, and it's one, you know, it's one of those, day, those days where you shower, and one minute later, after, after drying with the towel, you're like, I feel super sweaty, icky, and sticky again. And the shirt just sticks to your skin, and it's like, that's so uncomfortable. But anyway, I hope you're all enjoying your, your summer. I'm gonna do a commentary on a set here that I think is going to be unbelievably hype. This is the, this was played like what, days ago, it's the ATL, so that's the Africa Tekken League, which is pretty much, you know, I think it's the biggest Tekken regular event in Korea, and these are the season two finals, and you're going to see here Boa Love, uh, probably, there's no single player I like watching more than Boa, maybe it would be the John, uh, the Pakistani Marduk God, uh, Boa is the best Kazuya player alive today i think I, I think i can say that a hundred percent he is he's, he's done so well lately with the character against the best players in the world he's about to take on knee here and i hear he had an amazing run at this tournament and this is pretty far into the event and again he's going up against arguably the goat himself knee I mean, no other Tekken player is as decorated as me. Yeah, I think we can say he is the GOAT. Uh, but yes, uh, it's going to be cool to see how Ni does at EVO. Our son is obviously going to be there, so... Yeah, uh, I can't wait to watch EVO. But so right now we're going to have uh, a super cool set. So the best Kazuya in the world goes up against the GOAT, Ni. So we know Boa is going to play Kazuya, but who is Ni going to pick? He obviously knows he's going up against Kazuya. So, so what is the counter pick here? We all know Ni is basically Mukujin, plays like every character, loves to counter pick. And he goes with Devil Jin, which is basically Ultra Instinct Kazuya. It is just the strongest Mishima by far. Uh, broken, back to one wall combo, gets 27 damage. Kazuya gets 20 damage with his wall combo. And Devil Jin gets better Oki after the wall combo. He has a better jab than Kazuya. I would say he's got a better 50-50. His electric tracks more than Kazuya's electric. Uh, but, but I mean, yeah, if you perfect electric, Kazuya goes one frame faster on that electric. Uh, but yeah, Devil Jin has better poking, much more all round than Kazuya. And the list goes on. So let's see how Ni does with Devil Jin against the best Kazuya. So first match. Okay, wave a wave by Ni. It's flash punch. One one two. Fujin Araki into down back two. Ni guesses wrong twice. Oh, almost got the float there. Up for four is blocked. No duck on down for one four. Damn. Oh, that's a big whiff. And he gets whiff punished. What a hell sweep. Weibu, Weibu. Boa takes the first round. Sick. A lot of mids there. Uh, from oh, <laughs> ultimate tackle. Was that a miss input? I wonder if that was an Arakan. Fuck up. No, he's actually using ultimate tackle. The Chad of Chads. Big hell sweep from Nii. This is certainly going to be wall. Back to free. No? Ouch! That is a big drop by me. Nice health sweep, vortex engage, forward for whiffs. <laughs> it's just going ham with ultimate tackle. Big electric in the face, this should be kill. Yes, you are dead. Really well, uh, solid play there by me. Well done. Big electric there. Nice, 1-1-2, one, one, Vortex by Knee. Oh, gets interrupted by a toe kick. 
전제를 막아주면서 들어가고 있는 보아코 다시 벽에 몰렸습니다. 공을 계속 보아코 선수 의식합니다. 포지션을 안전하게 하고 있는데. Oh, up for four, back four. What's for breakfast? Oh, wall bounce. This should be a million damage. Doesn't get the wall break, but still does does a nice combo. Great read on the health sweep. Oh, big rage drive. Oh, devil. Boa Love, notorious for his incredible use of devil mode. Oh, nice down for one, two. He did, uh, Boa just didn't expect him to finish that string. Oh, huge electric. Oh, didn't get the wall. Knee looking very good here. Can Boa answer back is the question. Big whiff on the rock end. Only eats a jab. Ooh, huge way from a down for two. Luckily, no electric punish. Gets the forward forward free. Me expecting a hell sweep. That's going to be a wall break key charge. Yeah, the mix up. Forward forward four gets it. Oh! Wow! Oh, didn't quite kill though. You saw what he did there? Twin piston first hit and then ducks again and just twin pistons immediately. A huge, uh, took a huge gamble there, but it paid off. Nice. My god, so many whiffs on both sides. So big forward, 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 forward free whiff, big electric punish. Oh, wow. The reads on those hell sweeps. Yeah. Super nice round by me. Amazing reads. So is that a total download? And again, Boa is literally the god of the 50-50s. I don't know if anyone is as unpredictable as he is with the hell sweeps. Uh, but yeah, Ni got the reads. Um, I mean, Ni, I wonder if he is like the best in the world in terms of like reading patterns, opponents' patterns. I guess it's him or Arslan. Anakin is also way up there, which is why he dominates so hard with a very subpar character that's been power crept so much. Anakin is absolutely brilliant at reading opponent patterns and playstyles. So yeah, Ni took the, took the crucial first match. <laughs> Power crush. Oh, huge electric. Damage 4. This should be Boa's round. Again, no duck on down for 1-4. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, 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 that is so disgusting. Ooh, and you're dead. Devil Jin is so strong. So strong. Nice, Ford Ford Free, beautiful. Nice combo. I'm really hoping Boa climbs back a little bit here. Me is looking very dominating here so far. Boa certainly hasn't been a pushover, but Ni is winning most of the 50-50 exchanges. <sighs> very nice by Ni. Fuck me! Set point here for Ni. 
이럴 때 만약에 더 들어가서 어퍼나 초풍 맞으면 이제는 거의 미래가 없거든요. Yeah, a huge wave there on down for two. 중단을 덮어두고 있습니다. 아까운 거리에서 웨이브 가드를 지금 충실히 하고 있는 보루 선수거든요. 뭔가 지를 수 있다, 뭔가 떠포할 수 있다 이거거든요. 네, 그 상황들을 다 분재하면서. Yeah, and, and, and he has a god tier double chin, absolute god tier. 아, 뭔가 들을 했나요 지금? 지금 오자마자. Double chin, Steve, Paul. 이거 나락이었던 거 같거든요. 예, 약간의 미스. I mean, his cause here is amazing. Very safe play. Yeah, you see those reads. Most of these exchanges, he is winning them. He's 50 50 in Boa, and he's handling Boa's 50 50 really well. What a conversion on that win pistol. Unfortunately, drops a combo. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Blocks the was sending too, punishes properly, gets a crucial round there on me. Ah, oh, that's ultimate tackle. Jesus, so risky. It is so slow. Yeah. Back to one. Yeah, look at that damage. Broken damage. Broken Oki. Yeah, that's it. But super well played, yeah. Super well played by Boa, but me. Yeah, but better player here. Devil Jin is busted. Devil Jin is way stronger uh, than Kazuya, but Ni took this 100% in sheer, sheer skill. He just read those exchanges perfectly. Like, he struggled a bit at the start, but then he just got a uh, complete download and Boa just couldn't 50-50 him. And this is a guy who has an insanely unpredictable 50-50, which he's demonstrated, uh, you know, I don't know how many times before. But Ni had the reads on his hell sweeps and, and Boa just struggled uh, to read uh, Ni's 50-50. And again, uh, the spacing from Ni was just god tier. Just how many times did he make Boa make like crucial whiffs? You saw those electrics, you know, whiff punishes from Ni, uh, or just dashing electrics that, that caught, caught Boa off guard, like I don't know how many times. And then into Devil Jin's, well, busted damage. Uh, just super well played by, by Ni, super well played. <laughs> Uh, so that was obviously losers, so that was it for Boa in this tournament, but still super well played, and certainly no shame losing to the GOAT himself. Uh, I would want to watch uh, a another match with him, though. We have another Boa match here against... Uh, oh, this is Yonerang, which is one of the most notable Horang players right now. Uh, so we could watch that. Here is Yonerang versus Boa. Let's watch that as well. Let's watch that backlash. Here we go. Nice twin piston. Ah, didn't quite get the wall there. Hell sweep is reactable. Think what you want. I don't know if we're joking in the chat, but hell sweep, you can't react to a hell sweep. A hell sweep is 16 frames. So again, uh, you can't stress enough either how strong uh, Yonarang is. Could be the number one Horang right now. Very nice. Very nice, Rage Run. You can react to a terrible executed hell sweep, in other words, slow CD input. No, you can't react to that, because you don't know if he's doing a slow CD into 4 4 3. You can never ever react to a hell sweep under no circumstances because you don't know he's going to do a house from a crouch dash 
Nice while stunning free. Oof. Oh. Ouch, that punish. <laughs> it's a pretty cool uh, matchup to watch, actually, Huarang versus Kazuya. They are just so diametrically opposed, you know, such a contrast in playstyle. Nice read. Classic low parry combo. Nice now, sweet. Should be it. Locks the down back too. <laughs> Scary. Oh no, rage drive. Oh, he saved his rage drive. I was really expecting rage drive on wake up there from Yonarang. Very nice. Uh, Snake X, thank you so much for 20 months of support. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Uh, but warning, I spam. Uh, a lot of people get this confused. They, you anticipate a hell sweep. You start reading your opponent, and you you get his um, uh, patterns correctly, and you block his hell sweeps. And you think to yourself that you're reacting to them, but you're not. You're just anticipating them, and you have a correct read. Uh, but you, you cannot block a hell sweep on reaction. That's pretty much like saying you can block a hop kick on reaction or a down for two. You can't. It's too, too fast. 16 frames. The, uh, most people struggle to react to 23 frames. Like uh, Heihachi down back two. Uh, that is very, very hard to do. You need really good reactions to do that. But yeah, 16 frames. I think the fastest ever is reacting to 20 frame. Certain 20 frame moves, like uh, Lay's uh, down back four, for example. I think Low High was able to do that. But he has like inhuman uh, reaction speeds. Ford Ford 3 is reactable though. Kazuya is. No, you can't. Nice one. Nice. Okay, oh man, so we're already a uh, set point here for Boa. Super quick set if he takes this round. Oh, super nice counter. One, one, two, vortex, four, four, rage drive. Oh, terrible punish by Yonarang. <sighs> He's still in it. Still set point here for Boa, nice health sweep. Block. Oh, Dominic 4 is blocked. Oh, wow, took a huge risk and it paid off. Oh my god, how much damage? Yes, super nice Oki. Oh, big Ford Ford 3. Who was it that said Ford Ford 3 is reactable? Oh, big pressure. Big pressure, beautiful, gets to counter it. That rage drive is so disgusting. Pretty sure you can fuzzy the Ford Ford 3. You can. You can only do that if a Kazuya player doesn't know what he's doing. And he's pressing Hell Sweep and Ford Ford Free at the exact same frame when he mixes you up. And Crouch Dash is the exact same way. Now you can fuzzy it. But no good Kazuya does that. 
they delay stuff. That means you actually have to visually confirm. Oh, now he's doing forward forward free, and you can't do that. It's too fast. You can fuzzy if he applies the exact same timing every time, but no Kazuya does that. Because there is a free frame difference between Hell Sweep and Ford Ford Free. Ooh! Beautiful punish there on back free. Harder than most people think, you know, to, to block punish. Properly, at least, launch it. Ooh! Super sick vortex. Well done. So whoever takes this match, uh, I mean, obviously wins this, but loser is knocked out of the tournament. Well, not great for for free. And this is classic season, season four stuff. Fujin Uraken into plus 13, and then Ford Ford free. Oh my God, he's Ford Ford freeze. Holy shit. You're dead. Ah, he drops it. Wow. Yonerang uh, had really. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna rewatch this, but Yonerang really had no answer this last match. You'll notice here how Yonrang is completely dumbfounded by Boa's 50-50 vortex. He just can't read it. And Ni very quickly got the, the patterns down. Shows you the big difference, you know, in just fundamental skill and be, being able to adapt to an opponent. Which is why uh, Ni has been, you know, the most dominant force for so long, because he just... No matter what opponent is presented to him, he'll, he'll be able to see through the patterns. And that's a very unique skill, obviously, at, at that level. <laughs> God, <boy. laughs> I paused at the right frame. Uh, but so nice to see Boa's success. I don't know if he's going to... Yeah, Yonrang was just knocked out by Boa. And that's no small feat. Uh, so I'm hoping we see Boa at EVO. But yeah, I don't know what his status is there. But so beautiful to see his Kasia play as always. And I hope you all appreciated that commentary. And that you all have a lovely day. Take care.